everybody and welcome back for another video with your girl Shalinda One. Okay, so I wanted to bring you guys a review on the Maybelline New Vivid line and their Color Sensational lip glosses that they came out with. They are amazeballs and guys, I have to say they are worth the hype because they are absolutely beautiful and I did uh, go in and spent some time in the drugstore picking them up. So if you're interested in the review and hearing what I have to say about these beautiful lips, lip glosses and lipsticks, stay tuned. We want to talk about the Maybelline's limited edition lip glosses that has just been the rave here on YouTube. And I have to say, usually when it comes to rave stuff, I'm like always, you know, you know, some people like it, some people don't. But I have to say, these deserve the rave. They are gorgeous. Let me move up a little bit so you guys can see them because they are absolutely beautiful. And we're just going to start with the lip glosses. The first one, I got six all together. I think there's more. I don't think the orange one is a part of the limited edition one. I think this is the part of the full collection. However, I picked it up because I didn't have it. What I would say is I didn't pick up all of them. I do not believe in picking up everything that I don't think is going to be flattering on me. So if I don't like it, I'm not going to get it. There's some things I do just because I want to review for you guys. However, I didn't feel the need to do that. And these things are not cheap. At my CVS... These were like seven, eight dollars. Yes, so they're not cheap at all. However, the quality is like off the chain. Okay, so the first one I want to show show you guys is the 250 uh Lord Riveting Rolls. <laughs> I can't see it. Look, it's a packet. Look, that's what the title is. See how small that is? Yeah, so it's hard to read. However, it's riveting rolls. It's this beautiful like fuchsia paint with um like with silver um you know incident uh glitter inside i'm having a hard time pronounce or describing today but they definitely have like some glitter in there some shimmer and i'm gonna swatch it for you guys it's beautiful and they are ridiculously pigmented but i'm putting it on a little heavy just so you guys can see it very pretty now they do have some lip glosses i mean some i don't yeah because they, they're not lipsticks they're actually are these considered lipsticks i don't know but the new vivid uh, they do have some lip glosses that go with them however when i look at this i think of some of those milani lipsticks that i showed you guys in the last haul Ooh. Mm. shut your mouth yes so that's the riveting rose very pretty Oh, I dropped it. The next one would be Fiercely Fuchsia. Now, you might say they look a lot alike, but to me, they're completely different. This is like a lighter pink than the other one. On the hand, you have to say they do look a lot alike. But in the two and on your lips, they are different. I have to say they are, they are different. You see how the top one is dark? Well, I meant... Yeah, the top one is darker than the last one, sorry. And this is uh, Fiercely Fuchsia. So obviously Fuchsia in roses, Fuchsia will be the darkest one. I like Fuchsia by itself on the lips. All of these can be worn on the lips by themselves, and I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed because as soon as I got them, I cracked them open. I was at my son's track practice. I was in a car waiting. So of course, what am I going to be doing? I'm going to be trying on different lipsticks. That's just what I do. You know, I can't wait to get home to try anything. Um, the next one is Electric Shock. And it's a beautiful baby pink. Um, she reminds me of Candy Yum Yum. She definitely puts me in a mind frame of Candy Yum Yum. She also has slight shimmer in there. I think if uh, Candy Yum Yum being so um, matte, if you wanted a lip gloss to go on top of her, and you didn't want to buy the actual Candy Yum Yum um, lip gloss from MAC, that one would work. It's very pretty. Now you might say next to maybe the Lady Gaga, I'm sorry, the uh, Nikki 2, but no, that's definitely more. I would put that right on top of the Candy Yum Yum. Very pretty. Yes, yes. Or by herself, she's beautiful. Um, The next one that I really, really like is the... 
striking peach now you guys know how i feel about my oranges and peaches and corals and things like that so i had to pick this up and this one definitely has a lot of iridescent and um shimmer to it and this is just a peach one i like this one by itself i have to say i tried it a few times and the one i i went back to refill or to put back on and to buy an extra one was this one and you might say why i'm surprised because you know i like pigmentation but i also like how it just gives it's sheer but it gives a little bit of the orange effect on your lips and on my skin complexion is really pretty matter of fact i might just throw you on right now because she is really pretty like her a lot like her so if you have you know if you're not into all the colors but yet you want a tint of something on your lips and you want it to be nude oh she's gorgeous and this one again is the striking peach love her like her a lot definitely one of my favorites okay so that's my that's third place of favorites <laughs> my second favorite would be the um captivating coral it's just the orange it's beautiful guys you know how i feel about corals and oranges on my skin tone i love it on my eyes my cheeks my face and definitely my lips it is absolutely gorgeous it's one that i would wear by itself yes i would wear that all by herself when i'm just not necessarily i mean i was going to say when i'm rushing out but not necessarily like when i'm just going out and I want like beautiful lips. I would wear her by herself without, you know, having like a hard lipstick on. She's gorgeous. And I want that shimmer on my lips. Yes. Love her. She is beautiful. Yes. Love her so much. Okay. So this last one has been getting the ridiculous rave. It got like an A++++. And I do see why. And that is this purple and it is mirrored plum and guys uh, before I pick this up socialite Sandy was the one who was like Shalonda get your hands on it because you're gonna I mean first of all you're gonna love it but then your subscribers is gonna love you more for loving it because it is the bomb.com and you know what she was 100% right it really does deserve all the rave that it gets it is a gorgeous purple on the lips for spring and summer it gets no prettier it gets no prettier for someone who doesn't want and i think about it, like summer you know spring and summer for during the day you like a hard lipstick might be a bit much but these lip glosses are ridiculously pigmented and they are perfect for the lips to add some shine to your face or to add a color to your face during the day if you have like a really colorful outfit or something and you just you know go very neutral on the eye like i did today just a pop of that color on your lips and it's already glossy and shining bright and you need some pigmentation these lip glosses are bomb.com dot life and yes so that's it at the oh wait at the bottom that's that purple right there she's gorgeous i have to say she's beautiful she's beautiful guys she really 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 is love her oh beautiful so those are the lip glosses from the collection that i purchased um i'm really liking these out of the rest of them they were really pretty but they weren't I don't feel like they would have been complimentary on my skin tone, so I didn't pick those up. But these here, I'm in love with. Really, 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 really like So, these. yes, I picked up a few of their um, lip... What do they call these? Uh, yeah, like the um, the new Vivid lipsticks. Um, you've seen these before, but since I brought them, I wanted to show it to you. So the first color that I've worn before... And I've shown you before was the Vibrant Mandarin. And this is it right here. It's very, now they have a brighter orange, an electric orange that is very pretty. But the only reason why I didn't get it because I have the more range from MAC and I feel like it's very similar. I might wind up going about getting it just to add it to the collection, but I didn't feel like the overwhelming urge to get it just because I had something that, something that very closely compares. But this is like an orange red it's very pretty you've seen this before 
you could definitely um see you see it you could throw that orange on top but i feel like it would just cancel it out but that's a very pretty color for your lips for this uh spring and summer very pretty next one and i didn't get all of them because once again i felt like i thought about my collection of these i was obviously lipsticks that i already owned that were very closely comparable so i didn't want to waste money but there are there's like one or two that i may go back and get no guarantees the next one is shocking coral and this is more pink to me they're actually coral i to be completely honest with you, I really don't really see any coral in there. I see more pink, and it may be like a hint of coral, but I see more pink. But look at this lip gloss here. Put that on top of her. Very pretty. Very pretty. So I like her a lot. And that is Shocking Coral. The next one is Hot, yeah, hot Plum. And she's pretty too. She's definitely, she reminds me of one of the recent releases from Milani that I showed you guys. It's very pretty. She's very pretty. That's her right here. Now look at the lips, the lip gloss right adjacent to it. Her? Gorgeous. Her? Gorgeous. So either one of those or even her. You know, either one of those lip glosses on top of her is gorgeous. So they definitely, when they came out this, with this collection, they tried to match up which lip glosses would work with what. These two would work very well together. Very pretty. So they did come up with um, some lip glosses uh, pairs that could work together. Hands down, the very best one that they came up with was brazen berry yes of course i got it and that's this beautiful plum color that actually is like made for the um mirrored plum lip gloss and put it right underneath it yes but look at this color it's beautiful you will wear that by itself let me oh yes she's oh look at her She's gorgeous. She's even pretty with the top one here. With that lip gloss there. So they really came out with a very... And this is by Maybelline. They came out with a beautiful collection for spring and summer. Um, they do have lighter ones that... They were just more in the pink family. So I didn't necessarily find the need to pick those up. But I have to say, I'm really, really liking the ones that I did choose. Definitely for women of color. At least my skin tone and darker. I feel like we can wear those and rock out for the spring and summer. I picked up from this collection. Um, they had nail polishes, they had eyeshadow palettes, and they had blushes. And I didn't love any of the of the other blushes except this one. This one caught my eye, and it's by no surprise because it's orange. And that's the Maybelline blush in Coral Burst. This is Coral Burst. It is absolutely beautiful. I do have it on today. I did not put it on very heavy, but I do have it on today, and it's very, very, very beautiful, guys. I have to say, I really like her. She can actually double up as a eyeshadow or blush. I like her a lot. Very soft. It's not very hard. It's matte, and I think it's perfect. Why? For just that little bit of blood to look like you have some blood in your face and you have some warmth and that is beautiful on the cheeks especially for the spring and summer because that's exactly what you're going for you're going for something that'll make you look like you've been in the sun and you're you know you're nice and you're just fresh and beautiful so yes i really 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 like her she is the only blush from the collection that i actually picked up because she's the only one that stood out i think they had like a a um like a brownish one and then which actually probably would have served more of a highlight for me then they had a pink one which wouldn't have complimented my skin tone at all so i really like her so that's it guys if you have any questions concerns definitely be sure to uh leave them below if you haven't done so already please rate comment and subscribe definitely check me out on facebook twitter and instagram at shalinda one and i love you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the very next video love you guys bye
Watching